Hey everyone, so recently I replaced the waste and overflow pipe on the bathtub upstairs and it has one of these plunger style mechanisms that opens and closes the drain. So what I'm going to talk about today is how I adjusted that plunger. So stay tuned. Alright, so you may have seen the cast iron tub installation prep video where I talked a lot about the waste and overflow piping. So in this video we're not going to touch on this type of drain stopper. We're actually going to look at the plunger style. So here's the overflow pipe and T. And as you know, when the lever is in the up position, the drain is closed. And when the lever is in the down position, the drain is open. This is the plunger fully assembled. You can see the plunger is attached to the threaded rod that includes a nut. The rod threads into the bracket and the bracket is attached to the lever with a cotter pin. So if you look inside the T, you'll notice that there's a ridge where the T becomes more narrow. So my thought here was that I wanted to adjust the plunger so that it's the shortest possible length and doesn't partially block the drain when it's in the open position. So with the plunger in the overflow, I moved the lever up and down to check the adjustment. And it was obvious the bottom of the plunger was catching and getting stuck in the T while lifting the lever to close off the drain. So I adjusted the threaded rod until I felt just the slightest catch. At this point I decided to use the markings on the bracket as an indicator and I verified with my tape measure that they're in one quarter inch increments. The last adjustment I made was to lengthen the assembly by one quarter inch and this allowed the end of the plunger to fully clear the ridge in the T and at the same time not partially block the drain. Alright so that wasn't all that difficult to do at all and basically all I did was just kind of play with it. I found the catch point and then adjusted the plunger about a quarter inch below that and it was just perfect. So. Thanks for watching. See links in the description below. Comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check us out on social media. And thanks for watching.